Welcome back to the three months of Modal Logic, a sequel to the 100 Days of Logic here with Carnades.org. Today we're going to be continuing with our November focus on temporal logic, looking at the since and until axioms, as well as even a couple axioms defining next and yesterday. So let's take a look. We can define FP and PP in terms of since and until in the following way, if we assume that precedence is reflexive. We can define FP as tautologies are true until P is true, and PP as tautologies have been true since P was true. Basically, if P is happening in the future, that means all of the tautologies have been true up until the point that P is true. Note that until is not saying that the tautologies are stopping being true after P is true, simply that they were true up until the point that P is true. If P happening sometime in the past, there exists some point in the past where P is true such that since which all tautologies have been true. The tautology symbol, that kind of squared off T, is almost just a placeholder. But we're not going to be able to express X with these general operators. We can, however, define our next time operator and our yesterday operator in terms of the strict versions, remembering that the general versions define precedence as reflexive, while the strict versions put precedence as irreflexive. Let's take a look. So. Next time that P is the same thing as there is a contradiction until P, from now until P. Or in other words, P will happen the next instant if there is nothing or a contradiction that will be true from now until P. So if there's nothing in between now and P that will be true, then, or if there's a contradiction of something being true between now and P being true, that means that P happens in exactly the next instant. The same works for yesterday and since, just going backwards into the past. We can also define our general operators in terms of our strict operators. Basically, P is true generally in until Q is the same as either Q is the case now and it's vacuously true, or P is the case and will be strictly true until Q is the case. The same applies to since, once again, just in the past. There are many other axioms that use since and until, but we're not going to be delving into a full explanation of every axiom here. But if you're interested, as always, check out the SEP article on temporal logic. Up next, we're going to be looking at linear time logic, also known as LTL. Anyone that is into computer science and does much programming may already be a little bit aware of LTL and linear time logic. Watch a new video every single day for 100 days here at Carnades.org, and stay skeptical, everybody.